Hi friends, are you ready to do a music listening activity with me? I hope so, I'm really excited about it. What you need before we do our listening activity is a piece of paper and something to color with, or Legos or Play-Doh, something to do with your fingers and your hands while we listen to our song. So I'll let you go get your materials as you get ready to listen. Do you have all your materials? I have mine. I got some blocks that I'm going to play with while I listen to my song. Okay, the phone's falling down. Okay. We are going to listen to a song, but I'm not going to tell you the name of the song, because that's going to give the way give away the answer to our clue. I want you to listen to this song, and I want you to pay attention to what instruments are being used to create the sounds. Are the instruments high or low? Are they fast or slow? And what animal do you think this song is about? So as we listen to our song together, go ahead and color, or build with blocks, or build with Legos, or play with Play-Doh, or just sit back and listen, and think about the instruments that are used, and what animal do you think this song is about? Are you ready to listen? Here we go. Did you enjoy the song? What did you create? Did you draw a picture? Did you build blocks? If you notice, the blocks that I did had nothing to do with the song. It was just something fun to do with my fingers while I was listening to the song. Do you have an idea of what animal the song was about? Go ahead and tell me your answer. If you said bumblebee, you are right. This song is called Flight of the Bumblebee by Rimsky Korsakoff. What instruments did you hear Korsakoff use to make the sounds of the bumblebee? Think about it. Did you say violin and flute? If you did, you are right. Now, violin and flute, are those instruments high or are they low? Do they make high sounds or low sounds? They make high sounds. Why do you think he used instruments that made high sounds to make the sound of a bumblebee. Is it because the bumblebee is a small, fast, light little insect that flies around really fast? Yeah. If he used a tuba or a trombone, those are really low and it wouldn't make you think of a bumblebee. So the different instruments that we can use can help us create different sounds. For the next activity, I want you to create your own song. I want you to think about an animal that you would want to make a song about. Think about that animal. Is it big or little? Does it move fast or slow? And then think about an instrument from the orchestra or on the piano and how you would create sounds 
to make other people think of the animal that you are thinking of. So if it's a small little bird, you might want to use high sounds. If it's a big elephant, low sounds. If it's a fast animal like a rabbit or a cheetah, you might want to make your song sound fast. If it's a slow animal like a turtle, maybe you make your song sound slow. After you're done creating your song, either on the piano or singing or with an instrument, draw a picture. Draw a picture of your animal to go with your song. There's a great book out there called Can You Hear It? And in this book, they have songs paired with different pieces of art that are hung in a very famous museum called the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And you can look at these pictures in this book. You can probably find it in your library. You can look at the pictures that they have in this book and watch the pictures while listening to the song. Guess what the very first song is in this book? The Flight of the Bumblebee that we just listened to. So go ahead and check out this book from your library or ask your mom and dad to buy it for you on Amazon. It comes with a CD and you can listen to all the music and look at all these beautiful pieces of art. And you can also create your own. I'm so excited to hear your songs and to see your pictures. Please feel free to share them below or you can send them to me on my Facebook page, Beth Smith Studio. I'm really excited to hear it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I hope you enjoyed The Flight of the Bumblebee.